Risk is an everyday part of investing, but it shouldn't prevent you from participating in the market. That's because investing in stocks is one of the best ways to accumulate and grow wealth. Investors face many different forms of risk, depending on the kinds of investments they choose. Let's examine a few of the important points to remember when investing in a risk-filled market. One of the main factors you should consider when investing is the amount of volatility or price fluctuation you are prepared to deal with. At the same time, however, know that the range of returns is less volatile over longer holding periods. Over the long term, periods of high returns tend to offset periods of low returns. With the passage of time, these offsetting periods result in investments returns converging towards the average. In other words, while returns may fluctuate widely from year to year, holding the asset for longer periods of time results in decreased volatility. This graph illustrates the range of compound annual returns for stocks, bonds, and cash over one, five, and 20 year holding periods. On an annual basis since 1926, the returns of large company stocks have ranged from the high of 54% to the low of negative 43%. For longer holding periods of five or 20 years, however, the picture changes. The average returns range from 29 to negative 12% over five year periods and between 18 and 3% over 20 year periods. During the worst 20 year holding periods for stocks since 1926, stocks still posted a positive 20 year compound annual return. However, keep in mind that holding stocks for long term does not ensure a profitable outcome and that investing in stocks always involve risk, including the possibility of losing the entire investment. Although stockholders can expect more short term volatility, the risk of holding stocks appears to lessen with time. Let's turn now to diversification. It's a great way to guard against risk, specifically company risk. Company risk, which is sometimes called individual security risk, is the possibility that a specific stock may fall in price due to non-market related factors such as poor management. It's the risk in excess of the overall stock market and is not always rewarded with higher returns. You assume greater company risk when you invest in a limited number of securities. Including more securities in a portfolio can reduce the level of company-specific risk you are exposed to. This is true for stocks, as well as other types of investment classes. This image illustrates an investor holding more than 100 stocks assumes very little company risk. Up to a certain point, as your stock holdings increase, your company risk goes down. Generally, it is impractical for most investors to buy hundreds of individual stocks. That's where mutual fund and other pooled investments come into play. They are able to reduce company risk because they have economies of scale. With millions of dollars in assets, they can afford to take positions in hundreds of stocks. We'll conclude with market timing risk. Investors who attempt to time the market run the risk of missing periods of exceptional returns. This practice may have a negative effect on a sound investment strategy. This image illustrates the risk of attempting to time the stock market by showing the effects of missing the one best month of the year. Missing the one best month during a year drastically reduced returns. During years where returns were already negative, the effects of missing the best month only exaggerated the loss for the year. In 7 of the 45 years shown, 1970, 1978, 1984, 1987, 1994, 2011 and 2015, otherwise positive returns would have been dragged into negative territory by missing the best month. In other words, it's time in the market, not market timing that matters. Understanding risk and how to help mitigate by holding diversified investments over longer time frames are fundamental rules of investing. But there's a big difference between knowing the rules and sticking to them. Make sure you're putting these concepts into practice. And if you need help along the way, let us know. Thanks for watching.